Okay, one more important idea uh, about L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule, as we know, can be used to evaluate indeterminate forms such as 0 over 0. It can also be applied to indeterminate forms such as infinity over infinity. And let's take a look at some examples here. So the limit as x approaches infinity of x cubed over e to the x. Well, clearly, as x gets big, as x grows without bound, the numerator gets infinitely large and the denominator gets infinitely large. So if, loosely speaking, we can substitute a value of infinity in for x in both of these expressions, we get infinity over infinity, and that's in an indeterminate form. So L'Hopital's rule says that we can still evaluate the limit, or at least try to evaluate the limit, by taking the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. So this should equal the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator, which is 3x squared, over the derivative of the denominator, which is just e to the x. Now again, we still have two functions, one over the other, that get infinitely large. Putting in infinitely large values for x still gives us infinity over infinity. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule again. I'm going to work out to the right here. So this should equal the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator, which will be 6x over the derivative of the denominator, which will be e to the x. And again, both of these expressions approach infinity as x approaches infinity, or stated more correctly, both of these expressions grow without bound as x increases. So it's still an indeterminate form of infinity over infinity. So we apply L'Hopital's rule again, and this will be the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator, which is 6, over the derivative of the denominator, which is e to the x. Now this we can evaluate as x gets large, the numerator grows without bound. I'm sorry, the denominator grows without bound and the numerator does not. So we have 6 over something that is getting infinitely large. And that basically evaluates to 0. So the limit is 0. Now we've shown that with L'Hopital's rule, but I think it's worth noting that you should be able to see this, you just go from here to here intuitively, just really, really quick. And here's how. As x gets really big, x cubed is getting really big and e to the x is re getting really big. But you should know that e to the x is getting big faster. Exponential functions always grow uh, more rapidly than any kind of power function, especially as x gets big. And x is really getting big here. So we have two functions that are growing, but one of them, the one in the denominator, is growing much, much faster and will always be much, much bigger and getting bigger at a faster rate. So when the denominator gets huge, the value gets small. Or Loosely speaking, you could say that the x cubed graph approaches infinity more slowly than the e to the x graph. And here's another example. The limit as x approaches infinity of 3x squared plus 7 over 2x squared minus 8. So these are both quadratics, and they're parabolas opening upward. So as x gets big, the numerator will get big, and the denominator will get big. So once again, this is basically uh, infinity over infinity, an indeterminate form. So we can try to apply L'Hopital's rule. This will be the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator, which is 6x over the derivative of the denominator, which will be 4x. And in this case, we can do a real quick simplification. These x's cancel. And we're just left with 6 over 4. This evaluates to 6 over 4, which will simplify to 3 over 2. And that's the answer. So L'Hopital's rule allows us to get to a simpler expression. 
that can be evaluated by a simple substitution when we have an indeterminate form. Now another thing that's worth noting here is that this gives us the result we would expect from earlier techniques. Remember how um, we talked about limits of rational functions. If you have one polynomial over another, as x approaches infinity, as x gets really large, the lower power terms become insignificant compared to the higher power terms. So if we're evaluating a limit as x approaches infinity of one polynomial over another, we can basically ignore all the lower power terms and this leaves us with 3x squared over 2x squared and the x squareds cancel out and we're left with 3 over 2. So that's the technique that we've seen before for calculating the limits of rational functions as x approaches infinity. And as you can see, that gives us the same result as L'Hopital's rule.